Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. In the predictive modeling module, in the previous videos, we have seen what is predictive modeling, how to do variable identification, and the univariate analysis for continuous and categorical variables. And finally, we have performed bivariate analysis using few techniques. In today's video, we will talk about how to treat missing values. So this is an important task in your data set. So you need to check for the missing values in the data set and you need to find those missing values and you need to fix it. If not, while applying algorithms uh, like machine learning algorithms, so we used to uh, get a lot of errors. So to fix this, we used to follow a few techniques. Let's explore all these things. So first, let's understand the reason for missing values. Uh, it might be uh, because of data entry error or uh, non-responsiveness. Uh, you are collecting a data regarding salary of people and some people might, you know, they, they won't reply for this salary information. So uh, maybe because of that and error while reading data, you might, you know, misinterpret sometimes. So that is also a reason. There might be few other reasons. I have just listed few here. And uh, how to treat missing values. So we're going to use two methods. One is describe and ease null. Using describe method, it will display only for the continuous variables. And if you use ease null method, you can view missing values uh, for both continuous and categorical variables. We're going to perform this one in the practical session also. And now you have found the missing values. Now we need to deal with the missing values. So how to do that one? We have um, two methods. One is called imputation and another one is deletion. Imputation uh, for continuous variables, we can you know find a mean, median, regression. For categorical variables, we can find a mode and classification. Deletion in the sense um, row wise and column wise, which means that if there is any missing value in a single row, we are going to delete the complete row. And then if there is any uh, cell which is missing in a column, we are going to cut that complete column. So now which uh, you know um, model is best, imputation or deletion? Of course, imputation is good because in the deletion, we are going to delete the entire row or entire column, which means that we will lose a lot of data. So we can't analyze the data properly, right? All right, so now let's flip to Google Colab to explore this. So first here, I'm gonna import uh, pandas library, import pandas spd. And um, I have given the dataset link in the description box. You can download this um, missing data set, I mean missing data uh, dot CSV. And I'm gonna read using read underscore CSV. And the variable here I'm using is file. Then I want to display the shape of the data set, which means that it is going to display the number of rows and columns, 891 rows and 12 columns. This is also called as features. And uh, using describe method, we have seen that uh, describe method will display only for the continuous values, right? So that is it will display count, mean, standard deviation and all. And if you see this, all these things are continuous variables, that is numerical variables and um, passenger ID. 891 records we have seen are uh, uh, overall records are 891 uh, rows and we, we have got eight, 891 rows for passenger id survived p class and if you see this age only 714 are available so rest of the them i mean rest of the things are missing values okay and uh, now i want to display for the categorical variables as well, both continuous and categorical variables. So I'm going to use is null. Okay, so it is going to display the complete detail of um, both categorical and continuous variables. Now if you see that, yeah, here it is true and true, which means that these are all the missing values. So wherever true is there, so which shows that the missing value. But now uh, I need a consolidated uh, number that uh, for uh, age you know um, how much is the value missing so for that we just go, uh, going to add a sum function here so it is going to display exactly how many values are missing so to perform that file dot is null dot sum function so which is going to display yeah so zero 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 which means that no missing value and age 177 missing values cabin 687 missing values and embarked it is two so these are the column names right okay so now 
uh, we have uh, found that these many values are missing now the, the next step is either we need to perform imputation or you know deletion so first let's perform uh, you know deletion like i'm going to drop a row i mean a complete row so file dot so file dot drop na which means that which is going to delete the complete row even one single uh, cell is missing in the uh, row in the sense it is going to delete the complete thing so now it is executed so which means that in our data set now right now there is no missing value so how to check that one so just we have performed file dot delete na and then now i'm going to check after performing this operation i'm going to check with this like is null and then i'm going to display the count so it is going to display if there is any missing value so now we're going to get all zeros which means that there is no missing value and uh, do remember that now you, you might be saying that this result got updated in the file which means no uh, we are not going to store anything in the file which means that this is just a copy of a data set if you want to store something um, directly into the file then you need to put like this file equal to file dot and all so this will directly affect the main file as of now i am not going to change anything because we need to perform other operations ok so now the complete row got deleted what if you want to delete only the row which has complete missing values so file dot drop na then how equal to all which means that it is going to check for the missing value in a row and then not just one single missing value entire row right entire missing value so i'm going to run this so the command code executed but uh, i want to check with the shape is there any i want to know whether is there any changes or what uh, happened in the data set it is not going to happen because 891 and 12 because which means that we don't have any row where the complete uh, you know details are missing okay so now let's come to the columns we have done uh, all these things for rows now so if you want to perform uh, or if you want to delete a column so we are going to mention it as axis equal to 1 which refers to a column actually so file dot drop na axis equal to 1 dot shape which means that it is going to uh, delete missing values in the columns all right so i'm going to run this it is executed is you you see that 891 rows are there but earlier we have uh, yeah here it is 12 columns now we had but now there are only nine columns which means that the complete columns got dropped but this is not a good idea right when the complete columns got dropped the uh, you know uh, maybe uh, age might be dropped and uh, some other columns might get dropped so we can't uh, have a complete detail or we can't analyze further so we're gonna do uh, some other thing for that i'm gonna show you and now <coughs> as like uh, in this row we have performed uh, this operation right to check whether is there any complete empty row or what so same operation can be done for this column which means that simple the same code i'm going to use that is file dot drop na axis equal to one refers to column okay uh, and how equal to all dot shape which means that if there is a column with uh, full of uh, empty cells or else empty I mean missing value then it will be deleted I'm gonna run this so dot shape which is going to display uh, this result right 891 12 and then uh, there is no missing I mean complete missing column right so that is why it is showing the same result all right so now um, now we have uh, done um, dropping row and column operation now I'm gonna show you something like uh, I don't want to drop a, a column or row instead of missing value I want to insert some value like let's say that if there is a missing value of age I'm gonna fill that one with the zero or you can fill with any value which you want but uh, here I'm gonna do this one like file dot file uh, file dot fill na that is zero and I'm gonna run this so now it will insert wherever the values are missing like if you see this this is uh, gender and age 0.0, .0, 0. 
so this will by default th this will insert uh, you know uh, the value zero in the missing values and uh, which means that it is going to insert the missing values for the entire data set right not just for a single column because this is just fill na zero so wherever the values are missing it will just insert zero okay so now let's uh, perform for a particular column so this is the what that uh, file age and then i mean you need to uh, specify a column name here so now we are going to fill this one uh, for age then fill na zero which means that only for the age column it will fill these values if you see this uh, record number 5 it, it filled with 0 and 17 filled with 0 okay and uh, 863 that is also filled with 0 fine uh, but you know filling 0 doesn't make any sense right but we need to perform like what we are going to uh, do is uh, if here yeah if the age is 19 here and here it is 56 uh, we can take a mean of these two and then it should fill um, the age here right so that while making complete analysis we will get to know um, the percentage and all easily so what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform mean I'm going to take a mean age so a file that is the data set and the age is the column fill na again for the age I'm going to calculate mean so mean will get calculated for this uh, what you call this age column and then that that particular mean will be filled in that age column okay so I'm gonna run this you see that uh, earlier we have seen that uh, there is a zero value uh, yeah in record number five zero right now let's check this I'm just you, you see this for this record number five the mean value got filled 29.69 and uh, likewise we can you know go through all these things uh, if you see this 878 there is 0 0.0, 0. let's check this uh, 878 and then there is a mean 29.69 so everywhere the mean age got filled over here so uh, still there are a lot many uh, methods for that we will explore that one in the upcoming videos hope you understood uh, what is missing value and uh, how to find missing value and how to you know treat missing value i mean how to deal with missing value and all and how to drop a row and how to um, drop a column and all so these are the things we can uh, do with the missing values and um, if you have got any queries or requirements please do let me know in the comment section and like the video and uh, thank you and thanks for watching the video